Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about solid state drives. If you don't know what a solid state drive is, it's one of these things. Or one of these things here. <laughs> Two different sizes, but solid state drives um, are devices, they're storage devices that you can install in your Windows and Macintosh computers that'll make them run faster. These two are from Crucial. One's a 250 gigabyte drive and the other is a 500 gigabyte drive. But they go all the way up to two, oh, two terabytes as far as storage space. The purpose of solid state drives is to make your devices run faster. Solid state drives don't have any moving parts. So that way it allows your Windows and Macintosh computer to run at lightning speed. Solid state technology has been around for quite a while. Think flash drives. Flash drives use flash technology and allow you to quickly retrieve and store your documents on a small device. Solid state technology takes that to the next level, allowing you to store more information in your computers and to make them run faster. Now with solid state drives, uh, there's a difference as far as how you care for the hard drive in your devices. There's solid state technology in smartphones, tablets, desktop and laptops, computers, but how do you maintain that stuff and what stuff do you need to do to make sure it's gonna have a long life? Solid state drives have a short, or I shouldn't say short, but they have a shorter lifespan, I guess I can use that word, than your traditional hard drives. Traditional hard drives run on platters, and if I had one laying around, I would show you, but just think of a record player that's made out of metal. Those platters store the information on your computers magnetically, and as long as the drive platters run for a long period of time, or if the platters don't get warped, then the information can be stored indefinitely. Solid state drives have a limited amount of read writes, so you really need to make sure that you're taking care of your solid state drive if you get one installed on your computer. Well, what should you do in order to get your solid state drive to run better? Well, we're gonna take a look and take some, uh, look at some of the tips of the things that you need to do in order to keep it running. Let's switch screens like we always do and take a look at our tip. So the first thing that you wanna do with your solid state drive is to turn off indexing tools. And unfortunately, a lot of these tips have to do with uh, Windows devices. Macintosh devices, you really don't have to do that much other than to use your solid state drive. But a Windows computer, certain things you need to do. So let's get back to our desktop and whiz through those. What is indexing? Well, indexing is pretty simple. If you open up um, this PC on your computer, you can right click on the hard drive of that you that is your solid state hard drive. Once you right click on the hard drive, you just need to go to properties. Under properties, you need to go to tools. Yeah, that's not what I want. Uh, you need to go to hardware. Eh, now, oh, we're on the right screen. I can't believe I messed that up. You believe that? The tech guy made a goof, but we're here. So once you're under general, um, you want to make sure that this check mark, which is what threw me off, is off. Make sure that the allow files on this drive to be indexed, make sure that check mark is off. Once you take that check mark off and hit apply, then it will go through and unindex all the files on your hard drive to make sure that indexing is turned off on your solid state hard drive. Why do you want to turn that feature off? Well, the challenge is with solid state hard drives is that you don't want to write to it as often as, as you would a normal hard drive. So turning off indexing makes sure that your hard drive doesn't have unnecessary wipes or writes <laughs> to that. What's our next tip? Let's switch screens and get back to our desktop. And tip number two would be turn off Superfetch. And there you go. So Superfetch is a utility that's built into Windows 10. Again, like I said, most of these tips are for Windows users and not Macintosh users. But Superfetch can be found under services. If you type in services under Siri, it will bring you up to this screen here, which is services. Under the services are all of those complicated services that Windows runs in the background, and you wanna go down till you find Superfetch, which is under the S's. Uh, once you get to Superfetch, you can click on it and then right click and make sure that you 
click on properties. Once you're under properties, you want to go in and disable Superfetch so that it doesn't cause unnecessary writes to your solid state hard drive. Superfetch is one of those tools in Windows where it's like, what the heck is that program? I have no idea what Superfetch does, but I know even on Windows computers, it can definitely cause problems and cause it to slow down. So especially on a solid state hard drive, you want to turn off Superfetch. And finally, our last tip as far as maintenance on any computer or any solid state hard drive is to back it up. One of the challenges with solid state hard drives is that when they fail, they fail. And there is a warning sign that you would get like you would a traditional computer. So backup solutions include external hard drives such as the one pictured in the slide below. You can get a Western Digital external hard drive or a Seagate. You can utilize tools built into Windows 10 such as file history or Macintosh tools such as um, Time Machine. So back up those solid state hard drives. Once you move to a solid state um, environment, it is almost impossible to get that information if you lose it with a solid state drive. So if you have comments or questions about this tech tip, leave, <laughs> leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you to find out what tech tips that you would like to see me cover in future videos. And speaking of videos, be sure to subscribe to myself, Burton Kelso, the technology expert, or my company, Integral, on YouTube and all of the other social media channels out there. There are tech tips and tricks that we share on a regular basis to help you get more from the computer that you use. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.